Jim Bennell goes wide and Lewis Hamilton thought there was a gap. During the 2019 season, Formula One travelled to 21 locations across the globe. And in this sport where every second counts, hundreds of people worked behind the scenes to ensure that the teams were ready to hit the track on time at every circuit. From the first practice in Melbourne in March, all the way through to the chequered flag in Abu Dhabi in December. F1 is one of the most challenging motorsports in the world. And to compete at the highest level, its 10 teams surround themselves with best-in-class facilities at temporary headquarters in 21 different locations. With the help of DHL, more than 1,000 tonnes of equipment worth millions of dollars is transported across the world to every race, including bodywork, technology, tools, machinery, as well as catering facilities, meeting spaces, and everything needed to broadcast the track action across the globe. Each of the team's temporary headquarters is built from scratch, then broken down, sorted, packed and stored, ready to be unpacked at a new venue on the other side of the world. So how does one of the largest global sporting events come together to deliver the same thrilling experience to different corners of the world? Planning with the DHL logistics team takes place months before the Australian Grand Prix to make sure that everything and everyone who's part of the Formula One experience is ready for action. Twelve of the races take place outside of Europe and are commonly known as flyaways. As such, these trips require specialist expertise from the DHL operations team to create a bespoke solution to provide an efficient and sustainable way of ensuring everything is where it needs to be at the right time. At the start of the season, five sets of identical shipping containers leave the UK, destined for the first set of flyaway races. These shipping containers transport around 200 tonnes of ocean freight that's been classified as non-critical for race performance, which includes jacks, trolleys and kitchen equipment, as well as items for hospitality areas and the fan zone at the track. Shipping this heavy cargo is a more sustainable way of sending these containers around the world, as the CO2 emissions are much lower than air travel, helping to reduce the carbon footprint of the championship. Each of these ships will sail in a leapfrog pattern across the season, taking its cargo to the next flyaway race. The five sets of freight set sail from the UK to Australia, Bahrain, China, Azerbaijan and Spain. The set that goes to Spain is collected from the UK and transported by road across Europe. Each set will travel to several destinations across the season, so the set that builds the Australian Grand Prix will travel on to Canada, then stop in the UK before going to Singapore, Brazil and then back to the UK. Although the freight is the same, each track provides its own logistical challenges and opportunities to build a memorable race experience for Formula One fans. As the Marina Bay circuit is on the streets of Singapore, it provides its own logistical challenges, as roads can only be closed during certain times of the day, meaning that Formula One and DHL work with the teams around the clock to bring the night race to life, as well as building the paddock area. Concrete barriers, catch fencing and temporary bridges must also be erected to create the temporary circuit. Singapore is one of five back-to-back -back races, where the races take place just seven days apart. A lot of the equipment in Singapore needs to go to Sochi in Russia, so during the D-Rig every minute counts. Singapore famously hosts F1's night race, so the teams working on the race operation also have to switch from day shifts to night shifts. 
Although most freight will already be waiting in Russia, some equipment classified as critical flies with each of the 10 F1 race teams to every circuit. The label critical means that the race cannot take place without it, which includes pit stop equipment, computer servers, secure data links and enough components to construct up to three F1 cars. Transporting F1 cars requires precision and care. Individual parts of the car can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to manufacture, making it very precious cargo. To transport the cars, they are stripped down to the last components. The engine, gearbox, front and rear wings, mirrors and suspension parts are all removed and packed individually into customized cargo containers before being transported to the next race. And in the interests of fairness at flyaway races, the teams can only commence their builds once the last piece of cargo has reached the circuit. As most circuits don't have inbuilt broadcast facilities, the Formula One production crew travel from race to race to assist construction and then fully operate the broadcast center, which is capable of transmitting action from 126 cameras to more than 170 territories across the globe thanks to around 60 kilometers of cabling at every circuit. Five days after Sebastian Vettel wins the Singapore Grand Prix, the Formula One TV broadcast center is already up and running in Sochi, ready to televise the Russian Grand Prix to an audience of more than 500 million people worldwide. Line of F1's races take place in Europe, and as most of the teams are based here, the cargo travels by road to the eight mainland Europe races. The teams either transport their goods directly or through their logistics partners, which also enable fuel suppliers, TV broadcasters and hospitality providers with moving goods from A to B. Let's take a look at the construction at Silverstone in the United Kingdom, the historic circuit that hosted the first World Championship Grand Prix in 1950. Convoys of trucks will transport everything the teams need to operate during the race weekend to the Silverstone circuit. One week before the site is open to ticket holders, construction of the paddock begins. Over the next five days, 27 trucks will unload freight onto this 675 square meter site, which will be transformed into the headquarters for Formula One's Grand Prix operations. Everything from bolts to the Formula One TV broadcast center will be transported here and powered by 40 trackside generators. The race teams arrive three days later to begin construction of their areas of the paddock. And that's when the magic of the Grand Prix starts to take shape. Whilst the teams construct their pit walls and units, the Formula One team build the fan zone and race hospitality areas to provide fans on site with everything from champagne to show cars as part of the ultimate race day experience. By the Wednesday of race week, the paddock buildings will have taken shape. Some are more than 10 meters high and contain everything required to power, manage and feed the Formula One teams. Now it's time to start unpacking the most precious of cargoes, the Formula One cars. The teams will rebuild the cars and have them fully operational in time for Friday practice. Some will even have time to deliver upgrades to their cars. In just seven weeks, DHL will have helped transport the F1 operations to five different locations across Europe, including two back-to-back -back operations. During the most extensive season to date, the tireless work and meticulous planning and collaboration between DHL, F1 and the teams allow for seamless transition of the F1 world to bring the action to fans across the globe.